Hey guys, so some of you have seen the picture I posted on my Facebook page and my Twitter page um, of my Psycho Clown face. So I've just made a tutorial for you to make this gorgeous smile. So enjoy. So guys, to make the psycho clown face, you're going to need a few things. One is either going to be uh, liquid latex or PVA glue. Any will be fine, they both work just as well. Then, you're going to need tissue, because that's going to be your mould of everything, your teeth, your lips, everything else. Um, you're also going to need either black paint or a black eyeliner, some blood, fake blood, some dark eyeshadow or dark red colour and just some brushes. To start with we're going to make the lips. So basically what you need to do is just get a length of tissue and just rip along down the side of it. Basically you're just going to twirl this up like so. So it's like this. And then you need to put liquid latex all the way along. This will help it stick to the face. So liquid latex and PVA glue gets very messy so just have like some wipe or a cloth or something nearby. Right so just putting this liquid oh, liquid latex on it. making sure it's all covered so it's going to stick to my face. Right, so then ideally you would just want to put it, it depends how high you want it, but roughly around there. So you have a little bit of space there. And then just, if you want, put it up. Like so. And then that will just literally stick. It's very, very sticky stuff, liquid uh, latex. Right, so then we need the bottom part of the map, which you do exactly the same. You twirl it. You're going to need to do this and a little bit extra for the bottom of the map, because obviously it's quite a bit longer since you're doing a smile with it. And once again, cover it in the liquid latex or the glue. Once that's covered, just make sure it's twisted again. Right, and then you're basically just going to create the smile however you want it, the shape wise. you've got the next bit you just twist it like before and then cover it in the latex and the glue again. This is the really messy part, this in the teeth. Alright and then you just link it up to the rest. off. There we go. So there you've got the shape of the lips right there. So just clean your hands off before you go onto your teeth so you don't get all stuck to the tissue. I suggest uh, like a baby wipe because that won't stick or tear to your, to your hands. Always handy to have. Now we're going to move on to the teeth and for this you're literally just going to rip pieces of tissue off, shape them however you want. The more crazy sort of whacked out they are obviously the better the mask looks. And once again, what you're going to do is you're just going to cover these in latex as well. So that is what we're going to do right now. The latex and the glue also makes the teeth look like a yellowy colour, so you don't have to put any colouring on the tissue, which is good. 
So basically you just position the teeth like so. I suggest not going all the way across at the top of the mouth so it looks like you've got some depth because the last three or so teeth you can just put in white uh, paint so it shows that there's some sort of depth. Alright, so there we go. Got my top row of teeth. As you can see, they're very uh, yellowy coloured from the latex. I just have to do the bottom row now. And then that will all be the uh, messy part over. Ideally you want them to be, when your mouth's closed, to be touching or some kind of a small space in between so you won't be able to see your lips too much. At this point though your face is starting to start to be a bit stiff so just make sure you can move it enough to, you know, drink and talk and whatever. So I'm just going over it with a bit of latex on my finger. Just to make sure it stays in place. Alright, so now we're going to go into the detail, guys. First of all, I'm going to start with a black eyeliner. And what we're going to do, first of all, it's just go around the edges of the inside of the mouth and on the outside and then we're going to do the detail of the teeth. Right, so I've just done the outlines there. That's on the inside and the outside of the lips. Now I'm going to go and do the teeth. Not only does this put a bit of gap between the teeth, it also makes them have a little mouldy look. Okay, so now we're going to colour in the rest of the inside of the mouth black so it looks like it's a, you know, a hole. Try and keep these bits spare though because you are going to put white here. Not that you're going to be able to see much, but they're going to be there. As you can see, the rest of my mouth is covered in black. So it looks like this is my sole mouth now. Then I'm just kind of using a dark sort of purpley colour. And now I'm just going to go along the edges on the outside of the lips with the red. You can either put some teeth here now I'm not actually going to this time, but you can put some extra teeth in drawn in if you want to. Now, we're literally going to finish it off with some blood. And there you have it. So guys, this is your smile, um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share if you want to and if you do use this tutorial, please send me a photo to see your uh, results. Bye guys!